It's Shark Week! Hey, scholars, we're back for another awesome Shark Week. So here today, we're going to be turning, talking about the black tip reef shark. Now, it gets its name from the dorsal and caudal fins being black tipped. And remember, we learned that the dorsal fin is the top part of the fin that sticks out of the water. That's the part that when you see it in the water is always the scary part. And we learned that the caudal fin is the back fin and that it's gonna go side to side. We also learned that these were our pectoral fins and they help them keep balance. On a black tip reef shark, you may also see that their tips on their pectoral fins are also black. Now, most of these black tip reef sharks live in tropical coral reefs, but they can sometimes be found in brackish waters. Remember that word brackish, because it's gonna be part of your homework, but we'll come back to that at the end. They can be found in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Mrs. Hanka, what continents touch the Pacific and the Indian Ocean? Ah, more homework coming in the future. They are, can be found, they're not very large sharks, and they can be found to be anywhere from one and a half meters to two meters long. Wait, you said meters, not feet. Up, oh, now the homework question, we'll work on that when we get to the end. They do give birth, remember we talked about sharks can either give birth to live young, or they can have them in sort of like a little packet that protects the baby. They actually give birth to live young. They prefer shallow water, they're not deep water swimmers. They are in the shallow water. Well, wait, Mrs. Halka, I swim in the shallow water. Well, they are apex predators. They do fall prey to tiger sharks and to gray reef sharks and to large groupers. They are easily attracted to splashing and loud noises that they hear underwater. Okay, Mrs. Halka, I swim in the deep, in the shallow water. I splash around because I'm having fun at the beach. Won't they eat me? Many black tip reef sharks are not man eaters. They really aren't. They're not big. They might nibble on some toes, but they'd have to come in really close. And guess what? As much as they are attracted to splashing water, they're also scared of people and big objects. They do like to eat squid, shrimp, and smaller fish. So they're really not coming after many humans. You're pretty safe in the water with a black tip reef shark. Just stay away from him, he stays away from you. Plus, I don't see many of you going over tropical coral reefs by yourself. So I think you're pretty safe. Now, let's talk about what you're gonna try to figure out on your own. I gave you a vocab word, brackish. We have fresh water, we have salt water. We also have what's called brackish water. I want you to find out what does brackish mean? And why is it important to a shark? That's question number one. Your second question was, what is an apex predator? We talked about ecosystems a while back and we talked about predator and prey, consumers. We talked about all those vocab words. Now go back and dig back through and tell me what an apex predator is. You may need to break it down. First, tell me what a predator is then find out what an apex predator is. Then to go along with it, you need to tell me what prey is. Because remember we said that our shark is a predator and he can be prey. So you need to figure out what a predator is and what prey is. Then I also told you there was some math involved. Science always has math involved. Three feet equals one yard. So if I told you that the shark was one and a half yards to two yards long, how many feet would it be? Convert it into feet for me. You wanna take it longer? Go to inches. See how many inches would be in a yard. Remember, we said that a black tip reef shark is gonna be about one and a half yards to two yards long or meters long. A meter and yard are the same exact thing. So it's either going to be one and a half meters or yards 
to two meters or two yards long. A yardstick and a meter stick, same thing. And remember, their three feet equals one yard or one meter. Then your last question was, what continents touch the Pacific and the Indian Ocean? You may have to look on a globe for this or on a map or look it up on the internet. All right, those are your job requirements for this week, my little marine biologist and ichthyologist. Remember, an ichthyologist is someone who studies fish. Marine biologist studies everything in the ocean. And we learned that sharks are fish, not mammals. Good job. All right. You have a fantastic day, and I'll see you back tomorrow with another shark we're going to look at. Have a great day, scholars.